Um, things in life are bad, they can really make you sad. Other things just make you swear and curse. It's ironic. I mean, what it is really is it's like a war song from our father's generation, but done ironically, you know. So it's really when you have no hope whatsoever, it's sung by people being crucified. Always look on the right side of life. Ah, I've had worse, you know. It's that completely insane cockney attitude that you get, you know. It's just a leg. It's, Python's always doing that, you know. Forget about your sin. Give the audience a great... It got written only because dramatically we had to finish Brian and everybody was heading for crucifixion. And they're going, well, how do we finish this film? Everybody's going to be crucified. And I said, well, maybe we should sing a song, you know, a cheer, and it should be a cheery song. It should be like a Disney song with a little whistle, you know. And I came back and played it next day. And they were not very convinced, actually. I think Michael Payne said, you know, Eric's written a song, not a very good one. And Jones wanted to rewrite it himself, as he always does. Once we got that vocal on it, I knew we were, we were onto a good thing, because I played it, the crew, we just played it on the set, and everybody just laughed and fell around. So, you know, it was, it was a winner from then. Always look on the right side of life. He changed. Always look on the right.